You and I both know that salads are a great way to help you lose weight and get in lots of micronutrients and vitamins, but sometimes they are just so absolutely boring. I can't taste this. This food, it has no taste. I'm getting nothing. You taste your dressing and it really leaves something to be desired, but don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm gonna share four oil-free vegan dressings that are perfect for weight loss and also just kind of my take on some classics that you might be missing. All of these dressings require very minimal equipment can be made in a jar by whisking or shaking and you're good to go you can double or triple the recipes if you like one of them make them at the beginning of the week and then you have dressing for days and there's a little salad dressing hack that I'm gonna share with you that I typically do on a weekly basis so without further ado let's get into these dressings that are going to be healthy and going to really encourage you to eat even more veggies in your giant salad this is my number one hack for you guys to make any kind of dressing creamy. Now, if you don't like cashews or if you're allergic to them, you can use the exact same measurements with sunflower seeds. I'm using one cup of raw cashews that have been soaked and drained. I'm using three to four tablespoons of lemon juice, half a cup of water and salt to taste, anywhere from a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon or a little bit more is what I typically use. Now, why is this a salad dressing hack? Because if you want a salad dressing that is creamy in any way, this is the thing that does it with minimal prep and whenever you feel the need to have a creamier salad dressing you can always add in a spoon of this and it does the trick now first up, let's talk about a creamy Thousand Island dressing. Now to make this really authentic, I've chopped up a small dill pickle. I'm using a tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of rice vinegar, a tablespoon of ketchup. One tablespoon of the cashew sour cream. Guys, honestly, the vegan version of this, you're not missing anything. You don't need mayo. You can make this whole food plant-based. And to give it a little extra zing, I decided to add about a teaspoon of chopped red onions. This is a wonderful go-to. I find that a lot of times when people are switching over to eating this way, they're missing the classic salad dressings. And here is a classic. Next up is this zesty Italian dressing, and this was a request from a client that I worked with that really loved Italian dressing, but wanted an oil-free version. This has a ton of spices. I am using nutritional yeast, garlic, mustard, lemon juice, dried basil, thyme, oregano, chili flakes, salt and pepper. For the liquid, I'm using white vinegar, aquafaba, which is canned chickpea water, and a little bit of lemon juice. Add a little salt and pepper, and this really gives you that restaurant feeling of an Italian vinaigrette without the oil and this is not exactly like the Olive Garden dressing because that contains oil but I want to say it's a close relative and something that I really enjoy when I want an Italian dressing now I'm not the only recipe creator around here I've got a special guest coming in to show you a very special creation that he's been working on ladies and gentlemen Eli it's with garlic, it's with that pepper and meatballs and water and some more chopstone. It's with flowers mm -hmm. and more tapenchos. And is it good? Yeah. What do you eat it with? Avocado. Next up is this creamy balsamic dressing, and this is a variation on a dressing that I eat pretty much every single day. I am using a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, a teaspoon of mustard, teaspoon of nutritional yeast, one clove of garlic crushed, a tablespoon of that cashew sour cream, and salt and pepper to taste. Stir it up, whisk it up, and you're good to go. This dressing is absolutely creamy, delicious, really hits all the spots, and again, it's very restaurant-like. I love a good balsamic on a salad that contains some berries and this just hits the spot. And now for a healthy vegan twist on a classic honey mustard. I'm using two teaspoons of miso paste here, two tablespoons of maple syrup, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of mustard, the juice of one whole lemon, and a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's really it. I love a good maple mustard, and the miso actually gives it a really nice body and flavoring. Oh, that's good. 
This works great if you're having an Asian inspired salad um, or if you just really want something nice and light, it really hits the spot. These salad dressings are easy and delicious and there's even more in my cookbook eating hole for dips and salad dressings that I didn't even cover in this video. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure to pop a salad emoji in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your salad. Bye!